Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we're going to discuss your lesson about differentiating physical and chemical change. For our most essential learning competency, investigate changes that happen in materials under the following conditions. Number one, presence or lack of oxygen. And number two, application of heat. For today's objective, differentiate physical change from chemical change. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. From our previous lessons, we were able to define and identify the characteristics of physical and chemical change operationally. But how can we differentiate the two from one another? Let's find out. For our guide questions, Number 1. What is physical and chemical change? Number 2. What are the characteristics of physical and chemical change? And number three, how to differentiate physical change from chemical change. Take a look at the two processes that the paper undergo. What does the first illustration show to us? How about the second one? Can you differentiate the two processes of change that happened with the paper? That's great! The observable physical characteristics of the paper change as man crumple the paper. The size and shape of the paper change but still it is a paper. Therefore, the process of crumpling a paper shows physical change. Then what is physical change? Physical change. It takes place when an object changes only its space or state, either solid, liquid, or gas, Structure size, shape, width, length, and height. From our previous lesson, we were able to list down the processes of physical change. Keep in mind that in physical change, the material remains the same and no new substance or material is formed. The paper was under the process of burning. Burning a material requires combustion. The white paper turns into black and we cannot see any traces of white paper. The black material is now an ash, which is a new substance. The process of burning falls with chemical change. Chemical change It only takes place when a new substance or material is formed. This could be possible if the material is exposed to heat. Burning is only one of the processes of chemical change. Just remember that in chemical change, a new material or substance is formed. Let's go back with our first example. What do you think are the observable characteristics in this illustration? Good job! Since it falls under physical change, here are the observable characteristics. Change in size, change in shape, Change in texture, change in length and width, and no new product is formed. To identify the characteristics of physical change, we need to keep in mind the following observable characteristics. Number one, change in face and structure. Number two, change in size. Number three, change in shape. Number four, change in width, length, and height. And number five, no new product is formed. For our second example, what do you think are the observable characteristics in this illustration? Good job! Since it falls under chemical change, here are the observable characteristics. 
change in color, heat is applied, and formation of a new material is present. To identify the characteristics of chemical change, we need to keep in mind the following observable characteristics. Number one, change in color. Number two, change in odor and taste. Number three, effervescence or formation of bubbles. Number four, precipitation. And number five, exothermic and endothermic reactions. This is Venn diagram. By using this diagram, we can compare the similarities and differences of physical change to chemical change. Let's try with slicing an apple and with rotting apple. Can you list down the observable characteristics in slicing an apple? I'll give you 10 seconds to write it down. Time is up. Do we have same answers? Good job. Let's try with rotting apple. Awesome. You were able to give the characteristics of rotting apple. Now this time, do you notice similarities between the two processes? What do you think they have in common? Excellent! You are now able to differentiate physical change from chemical change. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!